nothing wrong with your television set. Do not attempt to adjust the picture. We are controlling transmission. If we wish to make it louder, we will bring up the volume. If we wish to make it softer, we will tune it to a whisper. We will control the horizontal. We will control the vertical. We repeat, there is nothing wrong with your television set. You are about to participate in a great adventure. Welcome to Photo Master Coach. Today I'd like to talk about aperture. Some people really don't understand exactly what aperture is. It's actually very simple. Aperture is mimicking something that the eyes do automatically. And the camera is basically recreating whatever you see onto a piece of film or sensor same way with shutter speed but we're going to talk about aperture so for instance when you're out in a bright day and you're seeing something and you want to see it sharper you would squint at it okay so what's happening is all these billions of photons that are coming from the sun bouncing off everything in front of you are coming through your eyes which are squinting making a smaller hole they're compressing the photons and from at that point they're projecting that image onto your retina so that's how it works it's real simple <laughs> our eyes do it when you're squinting or when you're looking through the scene through a small hole and that's a small aperture everything's going to be more in focus if you open that aperture okay to a wide aperture it has a totally different effect except for the spot that you're focused on and you have an open aperture everything behind you and in front of you will be blurred okay a good example of this is, for instance, you're shooting a portrait of someone. This is a real good example. And I believe that there are two ways to shoot someone, to get a photograph of the person or to get a photograph about the person. To get a photograph of the person, what I would do is, and, I, and let me throw in this too, is proximity of the subject or backing out and using a telephoto lens exaggerates this effect okay so typically when I shoot a, a, an image of a person I typically will back out use a telephoto lens open up that aperture focus right on the eyes and what happens is the eyes are in focus so when a viewer looks and everything else is blurred foreground background so when a viewer looks at that photograph their attention goes right to their eyes and that's what you want you want the the person to be the object of the image now if you want to shoot a photograph of a person in other words you want to involve their environment to tell a story about them then you would do a little different you wouldn't come in you wouldn't use a telephoto lens I would come in with a little wider angle lens now wide angle lenses are a little sharper by nature anyway but just to make sure that it's sharp use a wide angle lens make that aperture hole smaller so more stuff is in focus still focus on your subjects eyes and what will happen is you'll get a photograph of your subject but now the information behind him and in the foreground will be sharper and it will offer information about that person a good example is a college professor I shot once I was gonna get a picture of him and we he wanted to do it in his office I mean uh, his office at school and I said well, I want to see your office office and he goes no I don't want you to go in there it's dirt I mean it's 
you know, it's messy and all that. And I'm thinking, this is perfect. So finally talk him into it. We go into his office. And I mean, there are bookshelves all behind him, books in and out, laying on top, things hanging from the mirror, things all over his desk. You know, I'm thinking, this is perfect. This makes a great shot about this guy. Okay, so cover it both ways. I back out. Use a telephoto lens, sh zoom in on him, focus on his eyes, open that aperture, okay? So everything's blurry. Get a shot of him, pose him real nice, you know, make sure I get the right side of him. Well, get a picture of him, and what happens is that's a great shot of him. Because the books are out of focus, everything's out of focus, and your attention goes right to his eyes. And it's a good shot of him. Then, what I did is... Back out a little bit, use a wide angle lens, stop down a little bit, and get all the bookshelves and the things hanging and all this stuff. And it made a great shot about him because it made a statement about him. Okay, so there's always two ways of looking at a portrait or a shot about a person. Okay, now this aperture thing works like, for instance, you're in a field and you. Uh, you know, flowers around, really nice stuff, bridges and all this. And you want to get a shot of, say, there's this one particular really cool flower. You know, so you want to get into the flower, but you want to be able to see the feel behind it. So you're not going to use a telephoto lens. Now, that's in another video we'll do about close-up photography. But anyway, so you're going to focus on the flower, open up the aperture, come in a little bit on it, and take the photo. And what you'll see and what the image is going to portray is that this is a flower that's part of an image. But the focus of the photograph will be on the flower. Now, so same place, don't move. Stop down, make a small hole, shoot the same picture. And what you're going to get, and focus on the flower, and what you're going to get now is a flower that's representing what's going on in the scene. So it's part of the scene. Okay? So that's the difference in that. I've got a lens and I'm going to show it to you real quick. Um, hopefully you can see this. But we want to stop it down. And Anyway, you see that? That's a smaller hole. I don't, hopefully you can see that. And then we're going to make it larger. I don't know if I can get it right in here. So there you go. See, it's going smaller. That's going to allow everything to be more in focus. You start opening that up, and before you know it, all the background's blurred and the foreground is blurred. That's just physics, it's just the way it happens, like squinting. Okay? And there are numbers involved, but I'm not going to get into the numbers because the characteristics of the aperture is what you need to know. You can figure out the numbers later because they're either twice as much or half as much. Okay? Don't worry about that. What you need to know is the characteristics of the aperture and how to use it. And by knowing what you know from what I've just told you, it should make a majority of your photographs better controlled and you get what you're seeing in your mind and make you feel better about photography and about your abilities, and the potential of where you want to take it. Okay? Well, I hope that cleared things up for some of you, and I hope it helped out. Please come back and visit. And until then, shoot like crazy. We now return control of your television set to you. We repeat, there is nothing wrong with your television set.